Good morning team. It is Thursday and it is around about 10 past 10 and I'm about to go into Wigan. Uh, we're going to go looking for some serotonin in the bookshop and I'm really excited but also extremely nervous and I'm like trying to force myself to do these things now because I don't want to... Being in lockdown has kind of forced me to become even more of an introvert than I already was and I never used to be an introvert. If you'd have met me four years ago, even three years ago, if you'd have met me three years ago I was a total friggin extrovert. I was like the social butterfly, I was out every weekend, I had so many different groups of friends that I was constantly out, not necessarily drinking but out. Um, and yeah complete social butterfly and then something changed and i just became a huge friggin introvert no more social butterfly i would see my friends occasionally i would i stopped going out wasn't out every weekend things just changed massively and then lockdown happened and it's forced me to become even more of an introvert and what i want to do is make sure that i don't as things become more and more available to us in the UK and we can go out and things, I don't want to become this huge introvert where I just never see my friends anymore because that's become the new normal for me. I don't want that to happen. So I'm kind of forcing myself slowly but surely to do these things. I haven't been out into town for about eight months, approximately. So we're going to go into town. We're going to go to the bookstore. I want to go into Primark. I want to go to New Look and Superdrug. And if I can get in the charity shop as well, that's got the really, really good bookish area, I will go in there too. But I think I'm just going to film in Waterstones and the charity shop if I can get in. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I'm not going in for anything specific other than serotonin. <laughs> that's literally what I'm going in for. I want to see if it will help cheer me up and get is see if I can work through my anxiety of going into town and being around people again. Tomorrow I will be going out with a friend to have a drink and then on Saturday night I'm going out with a group of friends to have a drink. So I want to try and work through my anxieties before I actually go out and start socialising. I'm really hoping that tomorrow night socialising will help uh, me with Saturday socialising because um, that's a group of friends and that's something completely different. That's something I haven't done in so long. So that's what we're gonna do <laughs> this is a uh, let's try and help Steph through her mental health while seeing if she can get some books today so that's what we're gonna do uh, like I say I don't think I've just said I'm not looking for anything specific there's nothing specific on my mind that I'm like specific how many times can I say specific there's nothing specifically I'm looking for I just want to go and have a mooch and um, I will probably pick some stuff up because I can't help myself once I'm there but I'm just gonna go and have a wonder and see what it's like out in the real world when I'm not locked in my house or my parents' house or my brother's house because they're the only places I've been to for the last eight months. Other than getting my nails done the other day. That's where I went the other day. But yeah, I get my shopping delivered. Um, I haven't seen any friends in about eight months when the pubs were last open and stuff. So yeah. We're gonna go and do that, so I'm gonna take you with me, but yeah, let's go book shopping. Tell me that it's my fault, my fault that it's over. Wish I played it different, I didn't know. All the times that you call, call me to be closer. Wish I paid attention, I should have known You're probably with your friends Dancing on tabletops Hands in his head already Saying that you forgot about me I just don't wanna know who you give your love to You'll end up leaving here with someone I just don't wanna know You be drinking way past two Lights out and it's not me or love Now 
Now I'm sleeping different I let you go I'm not used to feeling Feeling like I'm needed Guess I'm not so missed it I should have known You're probably with your friends Dancing on tabletop Hands in his head already Saying that you forgot about me If you stick around, it'll never get boring We'll spend nights, cheap red wine Look at flats, even though we can't afford them I don't wanna let you down I don't wanna lose you now Will you stay? Even when you wanna walk away When times get bad We can learn to love what we have I don't wanna let you down Without you would be boring And we'll spend nights Cheap red wine Look at flats Even though we can't afford them I don't wanna let you down I don't wanna lose you now I don't wanna let you down The shops. Um, my mum came and had a brew <laughs> for a little bit because she's gone getting her nails done. She gets her nails done by my nail tech who is local to me. So, and my parents don't live local to me. So, she called. She called for a brew before she went to go and get her nails done. Um, so it's currently about quarter past twenty past one, I think. And um, yeah, Wigan was okay. I was fine in Warstones, which is the first place I went to. Absolutely fine. Came out feeling a million dollars nipped into super drug lost my fucking shit because all of the um makeup that i usually get i wanted to get some new makeup because it's been ages since i've worn makeup all of the makeup i usually get has all changed like the bottles have changed and stuff and i don't know what the fuck i'm looking at anymore so i lost my shit in super drug and left without buying anything then i went to primark and that was stressful and i just came out feeling really really stressed so i went back to water zones <laughs> for another five minute walk around just to boost me up and also i went back for a couple more books so the first stint i got four books the first stint in uh waterstones saw me picking up the gray bastards by jonathan french which i believe i think cody's read this series i think it's a series anyway or just this one anyway i'm 
fairly certain Cody's read this one and enjoyed it. If I am wrong, my apologies, but I'm fairly certain that's where I've heard about this one before from Cody. So, um, it sounds really good as well. This is about orcs and stuff. Jack Jackal is proud to be a grey bastard, member of a sworn brotherhood of half-orcs. Unloved and unwanted in civilised society, the bastards eke out a hard life in the desolate no-man's land called the Lots, protecting frail and noble human civilization from invading band from invading bands of vicious full-blooded orcs. But on the heels of the ultimate betrayal, Jackal will start to question where his true loyalties lie. So this sounds really, really interesting and it's floppy as frig as well. Um, but yeah, I decided to pick this one up, spotted it in the sci-fi section and I was like, you know what, I've heard of this before, can't remember where the hell from, but I think it's Cody. Um, and I really like the cover as well, I just think it's really, really pretty. So. I got this one and then I also got, we went for big books today, uh, I was not fucking around. I also got The Rig by Roger Levy. I haven't heard anything about this any, in fact, I've heard about it from somewhere, just don't know where the hell from, but it, I think it was early last year or the year before and I can't remember where I've heard about it from. But it sounds so interesting and I am really interested in it. It's chunky as hell, but I'm living for this. Um, it's sci-fi. And I'm not fully sure what's going on, but I think there's a number of stories that we're following. So, on a desert planet, two boys meet, sparking a friendship that will change human society forever. On the windswept world of Bleak, a string of murders leads, to a writer, leads a writer to a story with unbelievable ramifications. One man survives the vicious attacks, but is left with a morbid fascination with death. The perfect candidate for the perilous job of working on a rig. On a rig. Welcome to the system. Here, the concept of a god has been abandoned and a new faith pervades Afterlife, a social media platform that allows subscribers a chance at resurrection based on the votes of other users. So many lives forever interlinked and one structure at the center of it all, the rig. It sounds really interesting. I literally cannot figure out what the hell's going on, but you know what? We're gonna try it anyway. I spotted it in the shop and I know that it's like reasonably expensive everywhere else. So I decided to pick it up because why the hell not? It's chunky, the cover's gorgeous. So here we go. And then my second trip back to Waterstones saw me picking up uh, Charmcaster and also Soulbinder. Now, if you watched my last recent haul, which, which I'll link here, you will know I already own these books. However, I do not own the ones that have sprayed edges. Um, I ummed and ad and ummed and ad, and I even texted Jade and I was like, oh my God, they've got Soulbast, Soulbaster. So Soulbinder and Charmcaster, that was a combination of the two. Um, Sebastian, get on it, soul buster. Um, they have these two with sprayed edges. Now, when I was gifted Shadow Black and Charmcaster from Tracy, Shadow Black has sprayed edges, but Charmcaster did not. So now I have the sprayed edges for Charmcaster. And then I bought Soulbinder, Queenslayer, and Crownbreaker. Crownbreaker came with sprayed edges, but Soulbinder and Queenslayer did not. So now I have sprayed edges for Soulbinder. The only ones I need to get now, which I know Spellslinger is virtually impossible to get with sprayed edges. And I'm really fucking annoying myself because I had one like two years ago. I had one with the red sprayed edges, got rid of it. I didn't know this thing was a fucking unicorn and now I'm mad. <laughs> but that one spell slinger and then queen slayer so jade was like i reckon you should get them you know like they won't be around forever so maybe you should get them so now i have the sprayed edge ones too and i'm so excited and the girl behind checkout in um waterstone she was so cool so so cool she was like oh i've heard great things about these i was like they're awesome and my friend's just did an interview with sebastian de castell and he's a really cool guy blah 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 and i just went banging on she went the covers are so beautiful and you always need sprayed edges i was like yes yes she's like the greatest hype woman <laughs> so yeah i was buzzing also Ironically enough, this is still floppy despite the sprayed edges, which is really, really nice because sometimes they stop being floppy once you put sprayed edges on them. So I like that. But yeah, I picked up these two as well. So overall, successful shopping trip. I did get a couple bits from um, Primark, but they were like a bra and some tights and some leggings. So you guys don't need to see those. They're not nothing entertaining, but that's all I got from town. So I had a great day in Warstones. Um, I would always recommend Waterstones for if you're feeling anxious and you want to get, well not with Waterstones specifically, but bookshop, and um, you want to get some serotonin in you, a bookshop is always a win. But yeah, it was busy. I got really, really anxious in Primark, but then went back to Waterstones and picked these two up, so now I feel better about it. <laughs> um, but yeah. 
that was my cheeky little trip to um the bookshop uh so yeah it's been a good day overall i've had a great time i hope i got enough footage and i hope that it was okay but now i need to go and edit um a couple of videos including this one and yeah I will see you next time. I hope you're all doing okay. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment down below. If you don't want to leave a comment, leave a stack of books. And I shall see you next time. Bye for now.